Welcome to a demonstration of the assembly and setup for membrane filtration using Neogen's filters and ampules. By the end of this video, you should be able to properly prepare your area, clean the manifold, and be able to set up the equipment for membrane filtration. A short self-check quiz follows the presentation. We encourage you to pause and review the video as needed prior to taking the quiz. Membrane filtration is used to separate any potential living microorganisms from a liquid sample through the use of a 0.45 micron filter and vacuum pressure. Correct assembly is essential to achieve the best results during filtration. First, always clean the filtering area. Be aware of and avoid any sources of contamination. This could be a vent that blows over your workspace or dust on a shelf above or next to your area. You can perform filtrations within a laminar flow hood as an additional precaution. That too should be cleaned thoroughly prior to filtering. If there's any buildup or debris in the manifold opening where the stopper sits, wipe it down with a paper towel. Then, add a disinfectant of 10% bleach isopropanol or other validated cleaning solution to each opening and allow it to sit for 30 seconds prior to opening the valves. Let the cleanser stay in the system briefly prior to rinsing it with sterile water. Always rinse your manifold to prevent any backflow of disinfectant into the system that could negate the results of a future test. Next, Wipe down or replace dirty adapters or stoppers as necessary. If you add any disinfectants, remember to rinse them clean with sterile water. Prior to beginning the test, remove your ampules from the refrigerator to allow them sufficient time to reach room temperature. This takes approximately 30 minutes. Set your clean manifold in the center of your workspace. Use the filtration connectors to attach a minimum of two sidearm filtration flasks in tandem with the vacuum pump. Always use an additional sidearm flask to prevent water from getting into the vacuum pump. It's a good idea to use a piece of rubber tubing to direct the exhaust's airflow away from your work area. Insert the adapter-stopper combinations into the appropriate manifold areas and press down firmly. If either stopper or adapter pulls out during filtration, just reinsert it. This won't cause any issues. Finally, close the manifold's valves and check the vacuum pump to see how many PSI pounds per square inch of pressure it's pulling within the system. For testing with Neogen filters, it must be set no higher than 15 PSI. Higher pressures can result in the stretching or tearing of filter membranes. This can result in not capturing all bacteria present in a sample. Setup is complete. You can now begin filtering your samples. The testing procedure for membrane filtration with Neogen filters and ampules is covered by another video training presentation. If you have questions about proper assembly, Neogen has a dedicated technical service team specific to this product line available to assist you.